assalamu alaikum students we are in the class 11th today and today we will discuss fundamental rights in the previous chapter we discussed it what the fundamental rights are and how many fundamental rights are in indian constitution yesterday we gone through the fundamental right right to equality which is under article 14 to 18 in which there is equality before law prohibition of discrimination equality of opportunities and employment abolition of untouchability and ab abolition of system of titles and today we will deal with its another uh, to sub topic which is right to freedom this right to freedom is from article 19 to article 22 under nine, article 19 we have six special fundamental freedoms number 1 freedom of speech and expression all that what we think in our minds all that what which is uh, good for the society which will not harm anybody we can speak we can express our views against any kind of arbitrary against any kind of exploitation against any kind of governance number second that is a uh, right to assemble peacefully without arms whatsoever we want we want to express our demands we want to have a protest we want to have any kind of any kind of demonstration we can assemble but it is uh, mandatory for we people that there should be not any kind of arms or weapons arms or weapons should be not in our hands we can assemble but without arms likewise we are having right to form associations the different kind of departments are in the india so we can have the association of businessmen the association of professionals the association of teachers the association of doctors we can form all kinds of associations within the indian constitution likewise we are having to right to move freely throughout india we are in the india as uh, as of now we are having nine union territories and uh, 28 states in the india we can move throughout india without any kind of passport or any kind of visa likewise we have right to reside or settle in any part of india under the provisions of indian constitution we can live we can settle in any part of the india we we need not any kind of uh, citizenship if one person from jammu and kashmir want to reside in delhi he needs not any kind of citizenship there because we are we are having the single citizenship at the present time so we need not to worry under some special provisions under article 370 or under article 35a it was for jammu and kashmir state that none of the indians were allowed to reside or settle within the jammu and kashmir now this article these articles have gone likewise we are having to right to practice to practice or uh, any profession occupation or business being the indian citizens we have the right to practice any kind of professions we want what we want to become um, what we what what kind of trade what kind of uh, this uh, what kind of uh, business we want to do we are allowed to do these these are the six fundamental freedoms under article right to freedom which starts from article 19 to article 22 but this is under article 19 today uh, now art article 20 20 allows protection against arbitrary con conviction if anybody is detained if anybody is uh, has uh, done some kind of offense of if any kind uh, anybody is blamed that he has committed such kind of mistake he if he is detained he ha he has the against protection against arbitrary conviction he can he can file the suits he can go to the courts he can know the cause why he has been detained likewise there is protection of life and personal liberty all the persons living within the indian within within the indian territory are allowed to have to the freedom to protect themselves to have their lives and personal liberty they can move they can do what they wish to likewise under the uh, article this article 21 and under article 21 a we are having one article which was uh, amended under uh, 86th amendment in 2002 it was made compulsory that the age um, that the uh, children in the age group of 16 6 to 14 can get education free of cost by virtue of that we are having several uh, these uh, schemes uh, likewise this mdm likewise tax free textbooks 
free uniform for all those students who are within the age group of 6 to 14 they can they can achieve their education by means of free and compulsory education under article 21a likewise under article 22 we have the right protection against detention if on the grounds if anybody has if anybody got arrested due to certain allegations due to certain uh, if he has committed or not committed any any kind of offense he if he is detained he can on what he can know on what grounds he has been arrested it is his own right likewise he can consult a liar of his own choice likewise he can go to the the accused the detainee has the right he has to be produced before the you know, nearby magistrate within 24 hours this is article 22 likewise we are having this uh, third right a fundamental right right against exploitation this right against exploitation is in article 23 and article 24 under article 23 we have prohibition of traffic in human beings and forced labor it is clearly stated in the indian constitution that none of the persons can be bought or can be sold to anybody uh, the human being tra the trafficking of human being is prohibited likewise there is the forced labor or the beggar it is also prohibited under the indian constitution under article 23 likewise under article 24 we have prohibition of employment of children in the factories in the mines the the age group from 6 to 14 or below the 14 years of age the children are prohibited it is prohibited that none of the children can be employed within the factories within the mines within the hazards within the hazards places likewise we are having another uh, article that is uh, another um, fundamental freedom that is freedom of religion freedom of religion from article 25 to article 28 under which we have certain fundamental rights like freedom of consciences and freedom to profess, practice or propagate any religion. All the persons, the variety of society, the varied group of the varied group within the Indian within the Indian territory, the unity in diversity. In India we are having unity in diversity. As such, whether we are belonging to any of the religions, a Hindu, a Muslim, a Christian, a Jew, all can practice their own, they can profess, they can propagate, they can uh, practice any kind of religion. There is not any kind of ban on any kind of religion. Likewise, we are having freedom to manage religious affairs. Article 26 allows Indian citizens to profess or to propagate, to manage the affairs of the religion. There is not any kind of ban on the religion affairs. Under Article 27, we have freedom, uh, we have freedom from paying the taxes for promotion of promoting any religion none of the religions or all the religions are treated equally being a secular state india has allowed all these religious institutions they are free from taxes no tax is being collected from them and, and they can manage all the things within the within the corridors of their religion likewise under article 28 we have freedom to attend the religious functions what kind of religious function is being organized by the religious groups all the um, persons having the faith believing within the religion can assemble can uh, gather anywhere and they can they can share the ideology they can share they can propagate they can profess they can practice whatever they want this is article 28 likewise we are having the fifth fundamental right that is cultural and educational rights these rights are under article 29 and article 30 under article 29 we have that any group or section having distinct language script or culture can maintain their culture can maintain their culture can maintain their this uh, script can maintain their language can uh, uh, can conserve all these things uh, all these things in order to save their heritage likewise under article 30 we have uh, the indian constitution allows provides that the minorities lingual groups religious groups can establish and administer their educational institutions of their own choice they, they are allowed to have the 
to have the choice what kind of what type of institutions they want what type of institutions how they can, they, they can promote the educational standard within the children's they are allowed to propagate that this is also the religious right again this uh, this is also the cultural and educational right uh, likewise we are having under article 31 this article 31 was amended under an uh, amendment under 44th amendment under which it has been made now a legal right it is not now the fundamental right now it is not counted among the fundamental rights likewise we are having article 32 under article 32 we have um, we have certain provisions to protect ourselves whenever we want to get or seek the help from the judiciary so this topic we will take tomorrow inshallah till then goodbye